This is a 190 Q&A practice test. Plaintiff attorney, Mr. Sanders, capital S-A-N-D-E-R-S. -E Defense attorney, Mr. Andrews, capital A-N-D-R-E-W-S. And we'll start with the plaintiff attorney. Ready? Here we go. Were any efforts undertaken at that time to process the car? No. Why not? No. Well, the weather was threatening and the best thing we could do is protect it from the weather at that point and then to get it back to the lab where we could put it in the garage and we would have all the experts in trace evidence and blood collection at the lab to do their jobs. All right, what efforts did you make to protect the integrity of this evidence? At that point, I suggested that we get it back to the lab and that we use a covered trailer to put the car in. The trip to Madison in the rain traveling at highway speeds would pretty much scour everything off the outside of the car. We wanted to put it inside of a trailer, so I asked for that to be brought to the scene. And did that in fact occur? Yes, it did. About how long did you wait before making the request for that type of equipment? Equipment and its arrival on the scene. I believe I made that request pretty early on. I'm not exactly sure how long it took to get that to the scene. There was a wrecker truck was called and that was a separate company, I believe, that had the trailer. In the meantime, I got involved with other areas at the salvage yard. All right, let's talk about those. While you waited for the wrecker service to arrive with the enclosed trailer, what was the first thing that you did after leaving the car? There was a team working with the cadaver dog and I kind of wanted to get a bigger feel for where I was so I kind of hooked up with them. We went down the road around the pond and then down a steep hill into like a gravel pit. I'm going to direct your attention again to exhibit 86. Does that assist you in explaining what you did? Sure, the Honda was parked here. We walked down this way a ways and then down this hill into this gravel pit area. How much of a pitch or a bank or hill was that? In other words, what's the difference in the terrain as best you can describe? Oh, it was kind of loose footing, so it was kind of step and slide to get down. Once we were down, you couldn't see up out the top. It was maybe a 20 foot hill. All right, was steep or it was pretty steep. Yeah, it took some effort to come back up too. All right, and after, so about at this particular point, was it still daylight or had dark set upon the scene? It was getting to be twilight while we were, while we were down in here, we could still see each other pretty well and the dog, you could see it working. We didn't stay down here for a real long time. I came back up, met back up with my photographer and then I believe we went back to our van and then at some point we were taken back up to the command base where was your van parked in this flat area here let the record reflect he's again pointing to the area to the right of the car crusher and somewhat south of that between the crusher and the pond the record will so reflect thank you then what did you do sir well from there we were taken up to a place where there were four burn barrels behind a house. All right, so back up to the command area and then down this road behind this house here. I'm going to ask the record reflect that the witness is pointing to the area behind the house previously identified as the Kirk residence. No objection, very well, the record will reflect that. All right, and somewhere back here and at this point it was completely dark and it was raining. All right, how much rain or how hard was it raining at that point? I think it was a pretty steady light rain. What happened at that particular location? I watched the cadaver dog work around the barrels and it had interest in the two of them to the south. Then there were two more next to it. I advised with the rain, you probably want to cover those with a tarp, prevent whatever is inside from getting soaked. All right, what occurred next? From here, we went back to the command station and we worked inside of a one of the large shed garages from the salvage yard. It was a golf cart type vehicle in there and the dogs were working in there and one of them had hit on the back end of that. Could you describe that golf cart for us, please? 
It was kind of a cross between an all-terrain vehicle and a golf cart, kind of had, was more truck-like than a golf cart, had a canopy over the top and sort of like a little pickup truck bed in the back. There were some stains on the back. I tested those for the presence of blood. We have a presumptive test for blood. It doesn't discriminate human from animal, and it's called phenyl phalene and for the benefit of our reporter here can you spell phenyl phalene please p-h-e-n-y-l-t-h-a-l-e-i-n and what result if any did that testing yield there were a couple of dark colored stains on the back end and up on the canopy and they all tested negative indicating it was not blood we had the photographer with us and he photographed that and where where did you go next i'm not sure which of those large service garages it was that we were in where the golf cart was at that point i believe we went back down informed that the wrecker had arrived and we went back down to the flat area and then back to the Honda and prior to stopping at the Honda had anything changed in the area specifically with respect to the car crusher at some point and I'm not sure whether it was while the wrecker before the wrecker before we arrived at the scene where the wrecker was or after we had secured the Honda but at some point there was talk about a car in the car crusher and how that was quite unusual the crusher was operated by a different outfit sort of a portable unit they bring it into a salvage yard, crush some cars, kind of like a subcontractor, but they operated it. Objection to that, that's beyond the scope of his knowledge. That was just what I had heard. He's not going to know who operates it. The objection is sustained. What my point for you, sir, is what did you do when you examined the crusher at this particular point? There was a car crushed in the crusher, and the ramp of the crusher was still on top of the car, so you could just see the side of a crushed car, and you could sort of see into where the windows had been, but you couldn't see much, so somebody made contact with the people who knew how to operate the crusher to raise up the ramp so we could get in and look, try to get a better look at the car that was in the crusher and did you get a better look yes at some point people came and started it up and raised the ramp then we were able to climb up on top of the car still couldn't get a real good look because the roof of the car was down crushed down on top of it too so I advised if you want to get inside you will have to get the roof and the metal off of there then you could see what was actually in the car before it was crushed. Showing you on the screen what has been received as Exhibit 66 is that the crusher vehicle that you have been talking about, yes. And there was a vehicle in that when you arrived, yes. All right, returning again to the Honda, the SUV. When the wrecker arrived, what did you do? The person with the covered trailer he had attached to a pickup truck. He helped direct the wrecker truck. It was a really large one. Looked like you could probably pull a semi. He backed it down along that road between the row of cars and the pond. I waited for them down at the Honda. The wrecker operator then examined the vehicle trying to determine how he was going to best get it off there because there was no way they were going to get the pickup with the trailer in there and along that narrow road with the pond so the plan was to pull the Honda out into that flat area. Write the word list. Madison, capital M-A-D-I-S-O-N. Honda, capital H-O-N-D-A. Kirk, capital K-I-R-K. S-U-V is all caps, no periods, no spaces. And that is it for the word list. And that will conclude our 190 Q&A practice test.